All right, good morning, everyone. It's the 10th of July, uh, 2024. We're in the middle of Cord B, week 12. And <clears throat> uh, it's Wednesday. We have our interim submissions uh, due today. We have some presentations uh, happening again today. Um, so I think there's five individuals who have been uh, selected on the basis of their performance to present to uh, Lizzie AI. And so those five people know who they are. You're welcome to uh, you are welcome to join the presentation if you would like. Um, but uh, the five of you who have been invited to present, you know who you are. Um, we'll also be finaling track, finalizing track selections by tomorrow. So if you have any uh, questions on that or any ideas around that, then now's the time uh, to work on that. We want to get that finalized by tomorrow such that we're ready and prepared for the uh, supported job search phase. So with that, let's see if there's any announcements from the rest of the team. Rodas, Pascalini, Natnel, any no. Mtina no. and Raymet? Uh, no announcements from our side, yeah. You've mentioned it. Okay. Anyone else? No? Okay. So let's let's jump in. So just to recap the announcements, we have presentations today going back to our industry partner who helped us design last week's challenge. Uh, this week we have an interim submission. Uh, we have our track selection documents that we want, or our track, the document doesn't really matter. We want to do finalize our track selection uh, by tomorrow. And yeah, we're in the middle of week 12. Next week is uh, a great week. And then we go into our supported job search phase. So let's hear, let's go around the room as usual and just hear what people are working on. Any blockers? And I'd uh, love to hear something which is unrelated directly to the technical content, but if there's anything else that's new and people want to share. So let's, we have enough uh, time to go and cover everyone in, on the call. Let's go around the room, please. Who wants to go first? Don't all put your hands up at once. Guys, who wants to who wants to practice getting ready to speak at stand-ups? Yeah, Johannes and then Abraham. Good morning, everyone. Uh, yesterday in the morning, I was looking at the challenge document in the reference link. And uh, from the afternoon till this morning, I was actually preparing for the presentation. And I think uh, I'm ready. Uh, I'm a little bit behind with the current project, but after today's presentation, since I understood most, most of the component and what we need to do, I will catch up after the presentation. OK. How are you feeling about the presentation? Uh, a little nervous, but I think I'll be okay. Why are you nervous? Uh, uh, first, it's big opportunity. That's why I'm nervous, and I'm I'm confident about what I did. I know what I did, but uh, there is some things I'm little I'm a little afraid about. Like uh, I'm not good with names, and if they get too specific in those areas. Yeah, I'm not good with names, that's all. What, do you, mean by names? what do you mean by names? Uh, like, uh, how to say, like if they ask me a uh, definition or something like that. Definition, give me, can you give me an example, please? Uh, how do I say this? I think I'm prepared, but for example, there is a uh, a matrix in Raga said if they get too, but I'm ready, I think I'm ready, but if they get too specific on those, uh, maybe. But uh, this morning I was trying to uh, understand more and try to answer them. So I want to give you a tip. I mean, one, one trend that I've seen um, is that sometimes there's a feeling that just being un unclear and unspecific is a good solution. But I would actually say the opposite. If you are specific about what you know and you're specific about what you don't know, 
it's actually much better than being just general. So I think it's very fine, Johannes, to say, actually, I don't remember that name. Can you remind me? Or uh, I know A, but I don't know B. So I think being unspecific is actually to your detriment. It's not an advantage for you. It's the opposite, the disadvantage. So I think if, and that's true also, if you don't, if you're not good with names, then just say that openly. I've forgotten that, or I tend to forget names. So excuse me if I forget that, can you remind me? But I think that's a point that I want to make for the overall group. There is this uh, trend that I've seen where people are more and more talking in generalities as opposed to specifics. So I, I just, for example, was just saw something where somebody sent me some information. And then I said, what about this? And they said, oh, yeah, yeah it's, it's fine. It was just an incomplete listing. If you send me something, why is this? An inco why would you ever send something which is incomplete? And you know, it weakens your argument. So, it sounds like you know what you're doing, and I believe that uh, the team has selected you because you do know what you're doing. But the, the remember, you only had one week to do the project, and so I think it's very clear that you definitely wouldn't be able to get everything done. And I think knowing what it is that you do know and also knowing what it is that you don't know is a sign of uh, maturity, and I think that's what many employers uh, want to find. I hope that... Uh, can be useful for you. Okay, so then that means you also need to be once the presentation once the presentation is done, you're going to be putting a bit more work into this week's challenge. So that sounds fine. Uh, let's go to Abraham and then to Mister. Okay, thank you. I'm glad we are making we are in week twelve. Time really flies like it's like. Uh, and about this week's challenge, uh, I've been trying to understand uh, what are the components how how do they interact and they interact in the overall business objective. And I think I have a good understanding of the project, but uh, I have this uh, technical uh, challenge or it's a blocker issue. Uh, I think we need a model that would generate us uh, those images or and that could actually give feedback to the components. And uh, I have tried to use uh, replicate, but uh, I have finished my free tier, so like, would can the container can I provide us uh, keys, like for example, for maybe GPT's tail uh, DALI or DALI three or four or replicas API. So I'm gonna defer to I saw one of the tutors. I, I'm gonna defer to Raymat on this because I can't answer your question, Raymat. Good morning. So oh, I, I think uh, could you start uh, a trade on Slack on that with not mail? Uh, let's see if uh, Abraham is that right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. I can do that. Okay. Thank yeah. I don't know. I'm not sure if the if he will be provide for that, but maybe he can have an answer for that one. But there are options other for image generation. You are doing image generation, right? You are using a yes, for that. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I think automatic 11 do the same thing, but you, that also might need a key. Let's just uh, try to uh, start a trade. I'll also talk with the team, but you should also tag him, tag us there as well. Okay. So, can I ask a follow up question on that right now? Is there anyone right now who can answer Abraham's question? So, if somebody can provide Abraham with a solution which is not Pan Academy provides paid access to. ABC, can you put your hand up? Okay, Johannes. Uh, so, Chavez, yeah, Johannes, go ahead. Uh, I'm not sure for this project, but uh, you can ask Fakerta. And I, I got into the same problem last week, and she, provi uh, she provided an API key for me. You can contact uh, Fakerta. Uh, yes, no, that's GPT. Sites are not open AI key uh, sites, right? They are separate. Uh, yes, sites. yes. So, but uh, can I ask why do you need the image generation? I mean, it's not a requirement on this project to do image generation. I thought the above mentioned that we should generate the images, then compose them to a storyboard. Or I'll um, double check. 
yeah, okay, maybe we can re re recover this one later, but I, I thought um, under the impression you, need, you should use the data, the image data that was given and go back to the composing part. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Okay. Is there someone else who can support as well? Jabez, you had put your hand up. Mister, you had your hand up. Can anyone answer Abraham's question right now? I think Michael has an idea on that. Maybe. Yeah, Michael, go ahead. Good morning, everyone. So last time, Yababal said in the man Monday, uh, like we should use the assets given by the Adludio, like it is 900. Uh, folders if i'm not mistaken and there are a lot of images and good uh, images i think so i think first we should like generating an image is very difficult and time consuming so because we have limited time i think it's better to use the assets given and proceed with other uh, tasks so if we finish that maybe maybe he can come back and generate the assets but in the meantime like, it's better to use uh, given assets Abraham, does that solve your question? Uh, not really, actually. Like uh, the folder structure is pretty unstructured, I guess. So, like, uh, we, can, we can actually use those images, but how? Like, I don't know how we could actually okay. use that. But that's a different question, right? So, if okay. you're now saying, if yes, you're now saying the folder structure is too hard for you to use, that's a different problem than generating your own images. So, you may. It sounds like there's an opportunity there. I don't, I don't know the details of the data that's available, but if you get into work and say, look, the data you've given me is not easy to work with, that's probably not going to, uh, it's probably not a good answer, right? You don't want to assign, get something aside and say, look, you know, the information you've given me is not well structured. Give me perfect data, and then I'll work on it. So, is it something that you can work with, even if it's not ideal? I'll try to explore, but like based on my understanding, I thought we have to generate those images based on the concepts given. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll, I'll try to explore. I'll, I'll see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Sounds, uh, it sounds like we haven't completely solved it, but I think we've shared some information. And there's a few people who have said uh, that we don't need to generate the images. But my request, Abraham, is write this on Slack and let's solve it there. Um, okay, let us go to Mr. Please. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Um, so, um, yesterday uh, in the afternoon, I was more preparing for the presentation. Uh, just like Johannes, yeah, I'm very nervous too, but I'll try to take your advice and apply it. Um, what, what is there to be noticed? So for me, uh, it was like um, in the first day of the presentation, there were some uh, matrix results that were a little bit confusing and it were hard. It was very hard to explain why some of the numbers were low while the remaining were high. So mm -hmm. uh, yesterday I was like focusing on trying to interpret what could be the cause of that. So I have my own like hypothesis. I'm not 100% sure about that, but um, I'll try my best to explain my understanding of like what caused those results. And yeah, that's it for this week's project. I, know, I think I'm sorry. Uh, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna not gonna let you go. But why does that make you nervous? So because you haven't gotten it done perfectly, is that what's making you nervous? Yes, that's what makes me nervous. I have, I have bad news for you, Mister. It's never going to be perfect. There's no. We're moving out of. You can never get a hundred percent at work. Okay. I just can't. I mean, so you have to move out of this mindset of if I got a hundred percent on the exam, then I did well. You'll never get a hundred percent. Even if you got a hundred percent, you'll no one will ever. It's very unlikely you'll ever be told you got a hundred percent. So you have to generate, you have to be comfortable with the work that you've done and be confident enough to know that. And if you're not confident enough, then let us tell you. And believe me when I say the work that you guys got done in a week is uh, at least the work that in, the, in a normal working situation would take two to three weeks. 
So it's okay to say, I don't, I don't know everything. Okay, I'll it's okay to say, I didn't get it. No, you have to believe, and this is for everyone, what we try and do is uh, give you about a month of work and give you a week to do it. About a month, not always. So feel good and walk into that and say, this is what I got done. This is what I would get done if I had more time. These are areas where this, these are the next things I would work on because I don't have a, I don't have a great answer yet. Okay, sure. Yeah. Okay, tell me about this week, please. Uh, uh, this week's project, uh, I think I'm left uh, behind a lot because uh, I still haven't understand the challenge document. In fact, I haven't like take a look at it very well because uh, Monday, like I was a little sick, and uh, yesterday I was more working on the that's, last that's week's a, project. That's a master of understanding. I haven't understood the challenge documents. I haven't looked at it. Yet. So. Yeah, I haven't taken a look at it like very well. I have taken a look at it, but not very well. So uh, that's maybe like, after the like presentation, saying, I'll... That's like saying dinner is not ready because I haven't turned the stove on yet. So it's a bit undercooked. <laughs> the, food is, the food is still there. Okay, sorry, I'm just making fun now. Go ahead. Okay. Anyhow, I'll try my best after the presentation. I, I've what's tried your, to fully... What, what's your plan? Uh, for today, uh, maybe uh, starting from the afternoon, I'll try to understand it more and uh, ask help from my teammates. Maybe uh, Johannes or Abraham will help me on that. Mm. Uh, yeah, after that, I'll try to start my work Johannes, on it. Johannes also hasn't started. Uh, yeah, but he said that he has a good understanding of what to do, so maybe he can help me on that part. Okay. Maybe somebody else can also help. Um, yeah. Okay, can you tell me something which is unrelated to training? I forgot to ask Johannes. I'm going to ask him to type it. But uh, we're coming up to break week. Week 12 is coming to an end. Uh, in If this was cohort, if this was the old training, the training would be done now. Um, tell me something that's unrelated to training tell, or unrelated to the technical part of the training. How are you feeling? Mm. I'm feeling a little bit more confident by my capabilities. I never thought I would be capable to go through like such intensive uh, months. Uh, I think I'm surprised that I can do more than what I used to think I can do. Like, I can focus a lot. I can like deliver and always try my best. Yeah. Okay. Is that a positive thing? Yes, that's a very positive thing. Okay, that's. Are you looking forward to the supported job search phase? Mm -hmm. Are you looking forward to the supported job search phase to the twenty second yes. of July when we start? Yes. Okay. All right. I'll leave you alone. Uh, let's go on to who's next. Um, who else do we have? So it's a great opportunity to practice speaking. So I'm going to call on people then because you guys aren't putting your hands up. So, uh, Michael, sorry, we already heard from you. I'm going to call on other people. Uh, I'm going to call on Gilbert. I'm going to call on uh, Hillary. I'm going to call on Jabez. I'm going to call on Daisy. Sheila. So, Gilbert. <clears throat> Gilbert, are you there? If you're here and you're just listening, then please unmute. If you're just logged in and not there, then I don't know what to say. Okay, so let's go to Jabez, please. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, okay, for this week, uh, uh, yeah. on Monday, I was uh, uh, I look over the technical document and uh, went through it and I think I understand what to do. I have a plan on my mind. I'm uh, working on it. Uh, but yesterday I was also preparing for the presentation. So I was not able to work on it more I, as I wanted. Uh, but I have a plan. So I will try to implement it after the presentation. Uh, and I'm also a little bit nervous. But after what you have said before, uh it i'm feeling better uh i hope what, what did i say what did i say that makes you feel better 
Uh, one thing is that yeah, it sometimes I I feel that maybe uh, the those who are uh, uh, who will those that were going to present for them I will not understand that this is this is only a, a one week's challenge. Yeah. Uh, that's why I'm I'm getting nervous. But uh, when you said it, yeah, this is just a one week pro one week project. We tried as much as we can. And we will, uh, and we are confident on what we did. But uh, and it's uh, definite that uh, we may not understand everything. So uh, that's me. That makes me feel good. Did they pay you to do this work? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> no, I didn't pay you to do the work. So in the worst case, if you didn't, uh, it's not perfect. Do you have you broken your contract with them? No. So you've done something, you're learning, they're there to listen to you, it's good practice for you. So I would try and uh, be very strong and mature and just view the upside of this as this is a risk-free opportunity for you to practice future presentations. Okay. So can you tell me something unrelated to the training, to the technical training? Uh, How are you feeling? Okay, I'm feeling uh, good also as uh, Mr. Said because uh, when I, like, I look at uh, uh, my capabilities when I started the program and now it's very, very different. Uh, I learn a lot of things uh, and I think, especially, I think I was improving very fast. Uh, I was seeing my progress on that. So I'm confident on that, that I could uh, do very well on the job search but i also get nervous because of you know even if i did progress good it uh, doesn't mean i will uh, get a job or because the, the the competition out there is high i know that and even if i did great in these three months that doesn't guarantee the job uh, uh, hiring part so i'm a little bit nervous but also underneath confident yeah, so I want I want to say one thing to you guys, to the whole group who's here and those of you who are actually here versus I don't know who's listening. Um, I'm just going to wait for the train to pass because it's really hot here. And so I have to keep the window open. Otherwise, I'm going to cook. But it's a bit noisy. OK, the train is passed. Um, I think the biggest uh, the biggest risk that you guys face when it comes to uh, not getting a job is that you guys give up. Uh, early, because you guys are, you've shown yourselves that you're hardworking, you've acquired the technical skills, you've acquired um, delivery skills, you can showcase that, and you're working in an area where there's an incredible shortage of talent. So the framework conditions, the things that you can't change, the world around you is doing really well, uh, or it's it's demanding people like you. now that doesn't automatically guarantee that the job search process is going to be easy. I think that's why I still believe that, or we've seen in the past, that it's on average, you need to go through five or 10 interviews. And to get those five or 10 interviews, it's many hundreds of job applications. So it's still a lot of work. There's no shortcut to that. But this nervousness, I would allay that nervousness by telling myself that I'm not going to get anywhere really quickly. This is why we often use the analogy of getting running a marathon, using a six pack. These physical processes, they don't happen quickly. You can't motivate yourself to get to marathon speed in two weeks. Your body just won't respond that quickly. The job search process is not that different. If you stop training, you are not going to reach your goal. So you have to put the nervousness to the side and tell yourself that this is a one year long process. So if you're expecting, that you're going to reach your one year long goal in two weeks, you're probably going to be disappointed. Now, there are some people who are going to get, uh, for whom it's going to work really well. And they're going to find, they're going to match in a week, in a day, they're going to find the right person at the right time. That doesn't mean that your journey, which is a one year long journey, is quote unquote wrong. So I would take your, this nervousness and I would put it in the closet, lock the closet and find a way to um, get into the right rhythm and the right routine. 
And those of you who are still here in week 12, I believe that the only reason you are able to be successful is not necessarily because you're so brilliant or you're such good programmers, but I think you found a way to organize your time and your mind to be actively learning every day uh, or six, six days a week uh, for a long period of time. And the, that's the major difference that I see between you guys and those people who aren't here today. There are smarter people who dropped out. There are harder working people who dropped out. There are lazier people or less hardworking people who dropped out. But you guys are here because you were able to organize your time and your mind for consistent, dedicated effort. Your future, when it comes to the job search process, is absolutely no different. If you are going to exhaust yourself because you're going to feel disappointed when you don't get an offer in your first 10 applications, then it's unlikely to work. You might get lucky, but that's really just getting lucky. So train yourself or go and do whatever it is that you need to do. The supported job search based process is part of that. But you need to tell yourself that this is not a short process. It is a, an approximately one year long process. So when I tell myself that, and I had a, I had a scenario like this too, when I was uh, trying to change careers, and I was exactly uh, like Jabez is describing, I was super nervous. What if it doesn't happen? What if it doesn't work? And somebody told me, and I liked her advice so much that I married her, was, you know what? If you imagine if at the end of your life, it took you an extra year to reach your goal, um, would you feel like you had wasted your life because it took you a year instead of a month? And actually, you know, I thought, that's not bad. You know, I reached my goal. I'd rather reach it maybe a year later than I thought, but at least I reached my goal instead of just you know, doing taking the easy man. So that mindset shift of I'm not going to kill myself, but I'm just going to be ready for it to take a year was really instrumental for me. So I would like to encourage each of you to push this nervousness away. And that's true of your presentations. It's true of the job search process. And I'm not asking you to put it away because I'm a motivational speaker, but A, it's because we believe that you are prepared and prepared in terms of you're on the right trajectory. And B, um, this nervousness, I think it's often a shorthand notation for, I want it to happen quickly. And these things, they just don't happen quickly. So be ready for it to take about a year. And if it takes a year, then you're on track. If it takes a bit less, then you got a bit lucky. If it takes a bit more, then that's just how these averages work. But the main thing, my main request to you is be ready for it to take a while. And this nervousness is, uh, is contrary to that. So I, I, I'm monopolizing the stand-up, but I wanted to just uh, have a discussion on that. Uh, is there anyone who has a counterpoint or a rebuttal or has a follow-up question? that we can discuss. Because this is an important point for me. The, the major barrier to any of you uh, finding a job, I believe, is not uh, anything other than you guys uh, giving up hope or stopping to put the work in. Any thoughts, comments, questions? You guys want to hear more stories about how my wife and I met? Anything else? Yeah, so Johannes, I can't, I can't talk about your background. You say it's taken more than a year for you. I don't know what you were doing uh, in the last year, so I can't speak to that. But um, I don't know if you were working, if you learned as much in the last year as you have in the last three months. So maybe that's part of it. I, I can't, I can't say that but what i can say is based on our experience from you should be ready to spend another year right this is a very difficult thing that you're trying to do you're trying to not just if you we look at a purely salary perspective the normal trajectory is kind of like that and you guys are trying to jump from here to here it's a very difficult thing to do for those of you who are you're sort of jumping these electron orbital bands it takes a lot of energy for an electron to jump from one orbital band to another. So this process of jumping is very difficult. Anyone else?
OK. Um, so I'm going to go through the announcements again so that we can finish up our stand up on time. Um, so we have uh, presentations happening uh, to the corporate uh, ins inspiration, we could say, corporate partner that helped us put together last week's challenge that's happening today. Five people are presenting. Everyone's welcome to attend. We have our uh, track selection documents that are due tomorrow. Interim submission is today. Next week is uh, a break week. Curious what you guys are going to get up to doing uh, and how you're going to rest before the supported job search phase. Um, I believe it's been announced, but I'm going to take the opportunity to announce it again. And every time I talk to you guys, I'm going to say it. We are opening up applications for cohort C intensive training as well as for university to jobs uh, training. So UTJ is suitable for anyone without a previous programming background who wants to be an expert user of the AI system. So how can you use uh, ChatGPT, co-pilots, no-code platforms to make your work more efficient? Uh, and those applications are open to uh, until the end of July, and then we'll enter a continuous application phase, so that's one. Uh, and then for cohort C, we we're trying to figure something out. We're trying to figure out how do we find hardworking people who are super motivated to uh, jump to the global level in terms of their careers and give them this opportunity. We believe that the program that you've gone through and that we've put together, um, it's good at doing that. It's not perfect. We know that there's a number of areas in which we can improve, but it is good. And the results, uh, we're proud of those results. So if you know somebody that you think is especially suitable um, then please reach out to Rodas and talk to her about this person because we are looking to recruit people uh, and we're ready to go down to an individual basis. So if you know somebody, please recommend them. We do take those recommendations seriously. They will have to apply, of course, but and go through the selection process just like you did. But we are keen on uh, reaching out to individuals to apply. Bethlehem, I hear what you're saying. It's your first exposure to the technological world. And I'm glad to hear that you're trying your best. I hope that you're able to keep trying your best in um, over a long period of time. Because trying your best over three months is uh, its a good start. But we need to keep that up over the next year. So any other announcements from the rest of the team before uh, we wrap up the stand-up? No. Michael? OK, I had one question. So in the document file, there is performance data.csv. So how are, how are we going to use that one? Uh, Raymet, can you answer that question? Is it, uh, could you guide me which data is it, Michael, on the documentation? Yeah, in the assets folder, there is a CSV file called performance data. So it has a column and uh, game ID, preview link, and ER and CTRs. I don't know what is that for. Let me just see it. Uh, there is a category description, right? There are the JSON files. What are they there? In the data folder, right? In the challenge data folder, there is. Yeah. Okay, I'm seeing three things here. Okay, uh, can I just share the screen, maybe? So can I can I ask? Uh, Let's wrap the stand up up. We can stop recording, but uh, Michael and Raymet, maybe you can stay on the call, plus anyone else who uh, wants to follow this topic. But let's wrap up the sort of official part of the stand up now.